Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share a project with you that was shared with us by one of our fellow demonstrators. Susan Gardner emailed us an idea and we just had to share with everyone because it is so cute. I'm not going to show you right off what I'm doing because I want you to be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. When I saw it, that's what I did. We're just going to start with two six by six pieces of paper. So you can have it from 12 by 12 and cut it down or just use a six by six paper stack. So we're going to take the first piece and we're going to score just from corner to corner on one of the sides and same with the other piece. You're going to do the exact same thing to both pieces of 6x6 DSP. Okay, and then you're just going to fold it and I love having a bone folder when I'm making projects like this, it just helps my fold lines to really stay down. So you're just gonna fold them so you have two triangles like this, okay? And then this is so easy. So next you're gonna take one of your ends um, and you're gonna just fold it up so that you're creating a horizontal line here, okay? So, and you don't want this, um, point to go over the edge of your paper, but you want this line to be horizontal. Okay. And again, I'm just going to use my bone folder and get that crease really good. And then I'm just going to bring this other end up and do the same thing. Okay. Get my crease really good. Okay. So just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my other piece here. Edge up. So I have two pieces that look like this, okay? And then I'm going to take one of my, um, the top pieces, the triangle at the top, and I'm just going to fold that down like this. And again, I like to use my bone folder here. And then I'm going to tuck this piece right inside of that little pocket right there. Do you see that? I'm just going to tuck it down in there so that I have created this little shape with a pocket. Do you see that? Okay. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. Okay. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't get this one perfectly straight, but it's still going to work out. Okay. Just like that. Okay, now this is where it's going to be so fun. I'm going to take my pieces and I'm going to adhere them. I like to use tear and tape for these kind of projects. It really keeps them together really well. But once your tear and tape's down, it's not going anywhere. So make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. So I'm just going to add it here on the edge here. Do you guys know what I'm making yet? Can you guess? Maybe not yet. It's going to be so fun. Okay, I'm pull my tear and tape off. Or the top, the topping of it. And then I'm just going to line my piece right up in here. You still want those pockets to be visible. Okay, so you still have your two pockets here and here. So you have kind of like a, now an extra big pocket all together. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Now I need two six inch pieces of ribbon. I'm going to use glue dots and I'm just going to put one on each edge of my ribbon like so. And then I'm just going to put them right here on the back. Like so, one on that side. Do you know yet? You guys are gonna die, love it. One on this side, okay? And look, 
It's a face mask, you guys. It's a face mask gift holder, gift card holder. So you put a gift card in there for, I mean, any, I mean, we have so many people right now who are going above and beyond in their acts of service or whatever. I mean, I'm thinking healthcare providers, I'm thinking teachers, I'm thinking those we love that are in, in the grocery stores or even truck drivers. I mean, everybody that is just keeping our lives going and moving right now. Wouldn't it be so fantastic to give them a little gift, a little uplifting gift, but to do it in such a fun way with a, with a mask? Like, is that not the cutest? So I wanted to show you some that I, I made up. Um, you can use any paper. It's so cute. And all these cute masks, I'm like loving it. I'm kind of obsessed with this idea. But really quick, I wanna show you the sayings that I use on them. Stampin' Up! has a new PDF that you can download. It's $12 and it's all about COVID-19. So it has a ton of cute sayings and they all kind of apply to the COVID-19. And any of the proceeds from it are donated to charities. So of, you can choose one of the charities that they have offered. So these are what they come, it's a 15 page download and they have all sorts of cute sayings on them. So this is what I used, super fun. You should definitely look into that. But let me just show you some of the ideas. This is the one with that cute paper. Thank you for your care. Cute. And I used all sorts of ribbon too. This one's with Baker's Twine. Things I miss, touching my face and you. Love conquers all things. I love this um, paper from the Free as a Bird suite with the feathers. So cute. I actually want a face. I, I want a face mask that looks like that. And this cute one. I miss your face because I do. I miss seeing everyone's happy smiling faces and... Yeah, it is, that is so fun. So I just wanted to share that fun idea with you. Thank you so much, Susan Gardner, for sharing that with us. I hope you guys can take it and make some really fun, inspired projects with it. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out at sudemonstrator at gmail.com um, or leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.